We've made it to Krasnogori, which is the mountainous region just before the enemy's stronghold of Groznygrad. And I also found a bright neon orange paint pen, a brand new pen in Peanut's teacher bag. So no more pens drying up on me as I mark off my frogs. I don't want to use the desert face paint. It looks like pee. It looks like I got urinated on. Well, they don't call it wet works for nothing, Metal Gear Solid 2 reference. Uh, what's going to be my best camo here? Probably Choco Chip, maybe? Is anything better? Oh, the desert. Oh, the animals is even better than desert. Oh, we actually get to use the leopard print pajamas. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Uh, I don't like what my suppressor looks like here. I want to use up this suppressor and get a fresh one. Just so I don't accidentally forget to do it in the heat of battle. Also, I guess I can show off one of the game's more useless gameplay features here. Let's pack away the mouse traps. We won't need those anymore. Because you can actually equip your food as weapons. And if you've got a live snake, like I just tranquilized that snake and caught it live, you can actually throw it at people. I think as long as we stay along this far wall over here and stay crawling, we should be fine. This area is not super difficult. But there is this fool right here. So we're going to hit him with a snake. Word up. <laughs> I think he got poisoned, actually. I think that snake bit him. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, yeah, that snake got him, yo. He's not asleep at all. <laughs> well, better him than me. These vultures here, if you kill a guard in this map, these vultures are supposed to uh, eat them. Feast on their succulent human flesh. And then if you, in turn, kill that vulture and feast on its succulent vulture flesh... I think paramedic yells at you. She's, she doesn't like that at all. But it doesn't look like any vultures are going for that fool. Maybe because they know his succulent flesh has been poisoned. Both of these guys need to go down. Both, because these guys are standing in the way of... my frog. And then this guy. 95% camo. With the leopard print pajamas. That's amazing. And I think this will use up my M19 suppressor right here. I think. Nope, looks like I got one more shot. Let's mark that frog off. Okay. Moving on, this next map is one of the most difficult maps in the game. It's, it, and there's no good way around it to just memorize where the guards are, which I've done. Uh, there's actually two difficulty levels. If you remember way back in Bolshaya Past Base, where I blew up a couple of sheds, there was a helicopter there that I could have blown up behind D. But I didn't blow it up, because if you blow it up, that loud helicopter you hear right now isn't here and instead it's a bunch of buttholes on flying platforms which is a lot more difficult so by leaving that helicopter alive I made my life a little bit easier gotta make sure to take care of that guy down in that cave because if you shoot him up here this guy notices we're gonna take care of this guy right now If I had blown up the helicopter, what else in this room? I forget now. That's a bullet, some stiptic. If I had blown up the helicopter, there'd have been a flying platform just above this this ridge over here, and he has excellent sight, basically all the way down the mountain. It's insane. But because there's no flying platforms, life's gonna be pretty easy for me.
Let's wait for this guy to go by here. We might not even want to take this guy out, actually. We might just want to wait for him to leave. Wait for him to go all the way down. And we're good. Now there's one more guard up here, I think. Yeah, there he is. Good night. Make sure we put him to sleep, not just knock him out. Then there's another flying platform over around this ridge here. That sees you basically just all the time. There's nothing you can really do about it. So by not... You didn't see nothing. In fact, you're going to take a nap now. By not destroying the helicopter when I had the chance, by planting TNT under it or whatnot... I make this map a lot easier on me. I don't like what this guy's doing here. This fool behind me. Because the helicopter's out there. As long as I don't alert any of these other guards. One last guard on the other side of this building here, I believe. Yeah, there he is. As long as I don't alert any of these fools, that helicopter basically just leaves me alone. What was that? Let's lure him around with a knock. He's gonna go check it out. So I can hold him up. No, I don't care. That's what I want to hear. Tell me that healing radio, yo. Now, nighty night. All right. So now there's basically no danger left on this map. Because I don't think that helicopter patrolling can see you at all. As long as you don't screw. As long as you don't screw the pooch with any of the guards. And yeah, I see my frog up there. I'll get him. Don't worry. First, we want to jump down here. Get the RPG-7. Because if we do screw the pooch on some guards, and we do have to fight on this mountain, we're going to want that RPG-7 to take down the enemy helicopters. Let's resuppress that M19. And move on up to the last part of the mountain. Haha! -ha. And this area can get very, very dangerous very quickly. Because all the guards, a lot of them inhabit those trenches down there. And they can be very difficult to see. He'll go down. I'm going to wait for him to finish doing his thing. Take a nap. There you go. Oh, somebody up there saw that. Okay, well, it's no skin off my balls for the moment. Where's this guy in this trench? Where is he? Oh, I'm nervous now. Oh god, there he is! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh... Okay, they're not sending reinforcements. Question is... Okay, well, I can't hide in here, that's for sure. This is a death trap. Uh, we might have to... In fact, we're gonna have to take down a chopper. We're gonna have to. There's no way... <laughs> no two bones about it. Oh, I shot the wall. Oh, that was awful. 
Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. My alert's going away, though. Let's hop back in here and just wait for the alert to run out. If they don't know where to look for me, I might still be in decent shape. Uh, severe burns. We need ointments and a bandage. We don't need to watch that. Um... Are we good? <gasps> oh, that vulture's eating... Oh, I blew him up with the RPG, didn't I? Oh, he's feasting on his flesh. I have to kill this vulture and eat it. I have to. Yeah, we gotta eat that vulture. We got to. And then we'll see if Paramedic yells at me. I didn't mean to kill that guy, but, you know, it happens. We'll see if Paramedic gets all pissy about it. Snake. Mm, altitude is pretty high. I see you've captured a white rumped vulture. Yeah, here we go. The white rumped vulture is a type of vulture found in India. Its diet consists mostly of dead animal carcasses. Tell me more about this white rump. But it's a fairly large bird of prey. So you probably won't be able to capture it alive using the tranquilizer gun. <laughs> Got it. But there is something here that's bothering me. Uh-oh. What is it? Here it comes. They say the white rumped vulture doesn't just eat animal carcasses. It eats human ones as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then if a person eats a white rumped vulture, does that mean he's eating human meat too? What do you think? Uh, you had to tell me that after I ate one. <laughs> So she doesn't get pissy, she just makes Snake feel real guilty. Human flesh, huh? Wonder what it tastes like. Anyway. There's my frog for the area. Okay, so. I totally cocked up this map. Are there even any more guards left? There must be, otherwise I'd be out of caution. Yeah, there's one. Please go take a nap. Thank you. I saw that guy. Don't worry about it. I saw him. It'll be fine. Oh! Okay. Okay. No, it's still fine. It's still fine. Everything's under control. Oh, I didn't even know there were crawl spaces on this map. Where does the crawl space go? I mean, I can't really tell. Huh, interesting. That helichopper's shooting me. Now the problem is, we need to go up to this door. Oh, the frame rate though. That helicopter's lighting me up. And dead. We're gonna forget any of that happened. We're just gonna write that off. In fact, I gotta redraw my little uh, frog box here. So I know to re-get the frog. So this is the first time I stepped onto this map. There's this friend here. He's got a buddy up top. We don't want to shoot him yet. That's what got us into trouble last time. We just want to hop down into the trench here. And get this guy. Yeah, I think that's what got me into trouble last time. Was I shot the jabron up top. And he has a friend up there that saw it. What? 
See, this time, no alert. And we'll be happy. Let's get my frog here. Nice. Mark that X again. <laughs> I had no idea there were crawl spaces on this map. That's a new one on me. Alright, where are the guards now? I see one over there in the trench, and then the one above him who I think I already shot before. saw me this time? I have no idea. Somebody's looking out. But I have no idea who it is. We're going to revert to crawling because I don't know where that guy is, but he's not going to spot me with no 90% camo. If he's close enough to see me with 90% camo, I would know exactly where he is already. I've also got anti-aircraft guns up there. You can get on those guns and shoot down helicopters too. But again, there he is. That's a really loud way of doing things. I just landed on him. I just landed on him and knocked him out. In the butt. Enjoy your trank dart, fool. Alright, I think... I think we've salvaged this map. I think we fixed it. Yeah, they're all waking each other up down there. No. I see him. He's down in the trench. Aha. There he is. Wow. Is that the guy who caused me no end of grief last time? Which way around this building is he going to go? Please come this way. You know what? That way's fine, too. Take a nap. Have your vitamin K, son. Didn't see nothing, and now it's too late. Whew. It's a heck of a map, man. <laughs> We made it. Okay, go through the door now, Steak. Stop showing off. So this is a bunch of scenes with Eva. We meet up with Eva. She tells us that Sokolov is being held down in Groznygrad. And she tells us how we can sneak into Groznygrad. By dressing up as uh, Major Rykov. This guy here. Those are his boots. That's Rykov. So we're going to knock Rykov out, steer his clothes... You actually start the game with a face mask that looks like Rykov for reasons that Sigint explains at one point. Uh, so we have the perfect disguise. And then Eva jumps on her motorcycle and drives back down to Grozny Grad. And that's where this scene picks up. And we definitely need to watch this scene here. There goes Eva on the bike. Now watch for this cliff. Every time the cliff that Snake's on... Throughout this cutscene, you can actually see Snake on the cliff. He's in full view of everybody in Groznygrad. They just don't know where to look. What what did Barrel do to make Volgan so mad, huh? Does he have a does he have beef with Donkey Kong? Oh. I hope that's not Sokolov. It's gonna make this whole journey just a waste of time. Oh, it's Granin. That's too bad. I really liked that guy. So, like I said during the Granin scene, the first time I played this, I expected Sokolov to die and the Shagohad to explode. I expected Granin to be the only Russian character to survive and then go on to actually invent Metal Gear. 
Unfortunately, that doesn't happen. He gets fried by Volgan. Transmitter in the shoe. Transmitter? Exactly. Planted to keep someone informed of his location. <laughs> Remember, Tatiana gave him the shoes. And Tatiana is Eva, so Eva is keeping tabs on Granin. And Volgan can't put it together. This man was our comrade. That's the second time in the game where Ocelot was like, dude, that's even too evil for me. When you're doing things that are too evil for Ocelot, I'm in command here. You're in deep trouble. And that nuclear shell? Still feeling sore about that, are you? What are you gonna do? Report it to the authorities? <laughs> this is war, Major. A cold war. Fought with information and espionage. I love this look that Ocelot gives we must root out Vulcan here. This look on his face. It is kill or be killed. Shoutouts to Not a Buttface who sponsored this video, and to everybody who makes my channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.